hello everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the watch os 9.5.1 this update is finally out and in this video we are going to talk about what are new changes are there in this update and is it worth installing this update on your device my name is jay and you are watching the archive <laughs> This update came at around 93 MBs on my Apple Watch. This is an Apple Watch SE. I have this Apple Watch Ultra case applied on my Apple Watch SE. It looks really, really dope, isn't it? If you want to know more about this case, I have already made video on it. You can check it out. I will link it below the like button or up in the i card. All right. Anyways, talking about what's new in this update. After installing this update, I didn't actually found anything majorly new in terms of features or anything. There aren't anything new in terms of features by now that I have noticed, but I will make sure to update you guys in my future videos. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notification. But that doesn't mean that this update does not bring anything new for us on the table. we have some tweaks for example the performance the performance seems a bit more slicky and uh, the animation seems to be a bit faster compared to earlier for example even putting in my passcode is uh, a bit uh, more smoother and all animations in general on watchOS seems a little bit more quicker and responsive to me that's a good change i mean it makes the watch feel faster even when it is not that fast it just feels a little bit more responsive and fast compared to the previous version this is the immediate change that i noticed on this firmware now the next thing is the storage before installing this version on my apple watch i had about uh, 16 gigabytes left on my apple watch and now i have freed up around 300 mbs on my watch so you will free up a little bit more storage in case you store some podcasts and stuff on your watch just like me then talking about any bugs or changes there aren't any bugs that i have saw till now it seems like a pretty minor update and a pretty a uh, small security patch update of course the point one updates whenever there is three points i mean like 9.5.1 9.4.2 9.4.1 9.2.1 you got the point where i'm trying to say right so whenever these kind of update drop these are pretty minor security fixes and some bug fixes improvement updates So in general this update brings all the security fixes and all the minor bug fixes that the 9.5 version had and it is for sure safe on your watch and I should recommend you guys to install this update on your watch it is a really great update and it will improve the security of your device and it will make your device feel a little bit faster this was the immediate change that I noticed after installing this update was that it felt a little bit more quicker the animations are for sure faster battery life is something that i can't really tell up much about right now it is too early for me to talk about battery life right now the battery life will be pretty much the same if not a bit better compared to previous version because of course this version is the best and the most refined 9.5 version so it will have better battery life than earlier and in general this update is 100% recommended from me it is a really great update it seems to have resolved pretty much all the issues that the 9.5 version had and if you had any issues this will fix it most probably let me know down in comments below are you having any issues on your apple watch or is there any bug or new feature on this update because i was not able to find any That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. My name is Jay, aka Tech Hide. Please hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 10k, and I wanna get to 10k as soon as we can. Peace out.